1 Kings 13, verse 18. He said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. There is a place in the word of God, in the word of Yahweh, that talks about a man lying about how an angel spoke to him. Sound familiar? That goes to show right there, someone is able to lie about an angel speaking to him. I mean, that should make sense anyways, but it's also, there's a story about that occurring in the Bible. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So, was the angel that appeared appeared to Joseph Smith, what I, believe, I believe the angel was Moroni, right? Was Joseph Smith lying about that? Just like how this prophet here was lying about that? Saying that the angel told him a message that didn't really happen? Is that how it went down with Joseph Smith as well? Before we continue, let's read the let's read the more to this story. We're gonna start at 1 Kings 13, 7, moving down. Let's go ahead and start it. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so was it charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. So he went another way, and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. This is where the old prophet is introduced. Okay. The words which he had spoken unto the king, then they told also to their father. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons had seen what way the man of God went, which came from Judah. And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled on the ass, and he rode thereon, and went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Art thou the man of God that camest from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said unto him, Come home with me, and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Thou shalt eat no bread, nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. Here it is. He said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So he went back with them and did eat bread in his house and drink water. Now the man of God that fell for the lie of the old prophet, there was consequences that came upon him. A lion actually slew him in the road while he was on the road. Just quite an amazing story. Go and read it for yourself. Uh, yes, amen. First Kings uh, 13. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and read the full chapter of First Kings 13. Pretty amazing stuff. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So anyways, is it possible that Joseph Smith, just like how, you know, it's definitely possible, but is this the case? I believe this could definitely be the case. Joseph Smith lied about an angel talking to him, just like how the old prophet in 1 Kings 13 lied about how an angel was talking to him. Okay, amen. Praise God. Praise the King. Hallelujah. He said that the angel said thing, an angel said things that wasn't actually said by an angel, okay? Joseph Smith could have just made all the extra stuff up, okay? But even if, it, even if it was a true angel that spoke to Joseph Smith, this is what the word of Yah says. Galatians 1, 8 through 9. 
But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should proclaim to you a gospel contrary to the gospel we have proclaimed to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so I say again now, if any man is proclaiming to you a gospel contrary to what you received, let him be accursed. Galatians 1, 8 through 9 talks about how if an angel comes and proclaims a different gospel, let him be accursed. And also, if a man does the same, let him be accursed. Okay, this does not say, this doesn't say, oh, a demon who preaches the gospel, contra another gospel, another gospel. It doesn't say, oh, an angel, um, an, uh, an angel isn't able to. If you read Galatians 1, 8 through 9 for how it is, it says, it points to the fact that an angel, a real angel, is actually able to preach to someone another gospel, okay? It doesn't say that's not able to happen. It doesn't say it, a demon. It says an angel, okay? So an, a, a real angel, it's actually possible for a real angel to preach to someone a gospel contrary to the real gospel, to the gospel, okay? So either Joseph Smith lied about an angel speaking to him, just like how the old prophet lied about how an angel was speaking to him in 1 Kings 13, or an angel, a real angel named Moroni really did speak to Joseph Smith, but it was a false message, a different gospel, that went against the true gospel, okay? So, amen, praise the king, hallelujah. Mormonism is a lie from the pit of hell. It preaches another gospel. It preaches Lucifer is the brother of Jesus. Also, that Adam, he is the God of the earth. No, Adam is not the God of the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all flesh. Jeremiah talks about how the Lord Jesus, he made all flesh, okay? Adam is not the God of the earth, okay? Now that's a doctrine. Mormons, I think they like discourage Mormons from teaching that. Anyways, but anyways, Jesus Christ is the Lord of all flesh and he's not the brother of Lucifer. He is God Almighty. Repent or perish. If you want to make it to heaven, follow Jesus Christ. You need to get born again, baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire if you want to make it to heaven. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen.